The drought situation, which hits certain countries, continues to affect a number of economic sectors in the region that are dependent on agricultural activities. In Namibia, the dairy industry seems to be facing an uncertain future as it is primarily dependent on rain and agriculture. Namibia Dairy says it has already recorded a shortfall of 10% of milk last month. We normally buy about 2 million litres of raw milk every month uh, and we are now down to 1.75 million so we are down 250,000 litres for the one month. The drought condition has affected fodder production, especially at the Harab Dam in Marintal area. This, he says, has affected its AIMAP super farm as the adjacent irrigation project is now used to produce fodder to other farmers. So there is, even with the green scheme, there is a shortage of fodder. Uh, but our other 15 farmers, which are mainly situated in the east and one in the north, of Namibia, they are already facing uh, significant shortages on fodder and that then impacts on the production of raw milk at, uh, at the respective farms. While calling on the public not to panic, Ling noted that if the drought situation continues, Namibia will be forced to import fodder from other countries. We really need a good rain season, but for then we have to plan ahead, we have to save water, uh, we have to make plans on the fodder availability. We are looking, for instance, at importing of fodder from South Africa. Uh, Zambia is also a country that is opted for importing uh, some of the fodder requirements. Um, uh, the challenge of that is uh, you are now in plans of uh, making, you know, uh, mitigating plans for availability. Price is a huge, huge challenge because wherever you source from now is very expensive. Link says, one way of overcoming this is to improve fodder production to ensure that dairy cows produce enough fresh milk. For Aaron Sadek, Jeff Tashihomino, Venduk.